What's up y'all? Welcome back in the shop. We're actually in the shop today and uh, I was going to do some videoing of my tow truck and uh, I've been putting on some overload springs but uh, I decided to do something different because I'm kind of in the middle of a lot of things on that and uh, kind of in the middle of a lot of things here at the shop. Uh, it just got bought out by a different owner or is now a different owner and there's a lot of different things I want to change and things we're going through so I haven't had as much time to work on my truck and uh, maybe next Friday we'll get on that but I got a really nice overload spring set up I think it worked out really well but uh, today we're gonna go over tool storage and uh, tool organization and I have several unique things that I've done in my box here and uh, if you've ever watched my uh, overall tour of my box you can see some of them, but I'm gonna kind of break it down and show how I put these together and uh, why I did the, what I did here and the ideas I had and all that good stuff. So let's get into here. For starters, power tools. This rack right here is hand built by myself, of course, like a lot of my stuff. And yes, I could have purchased one for probably about 30 or 40 bucks but I wanted it customized I wanted the right height I wanted it to fit in my drawer and this is a file cabinet drawer and rather than trying to modify one that I bought I decided to make one plus I had the material so that was a point too but uh pull all these out of here All right, this is built with PVC, three pieces of four inch, three pieces of three inch. And if you can kind of get a visual here, this right here, which is notched down, and I cut the curve in here to match the curve of the handle. And that uh, PVC works really well if you just heat it up a little bit with a heat gun. And uh, did that, bent that down set this over on my table over here and uh, it's all pop rivet together there's pop rivet on each one top and bottom this is three quarter inch pvc just glued together and pop riveted that on just for more stability and uh, painted the whole thing black with uh, the paint i used which is held up really good it's hardly wore off at all it was an uh, engine cover paint for like the top plastic cover of an engine, special heat uh, resistant paint for plastic. And uh, it held up really well. Yeah, I could have just went and bought one. It sits in there really nice. I could have just went and bought one and uh, made it work. But uh, I like doing things how I want and customizing it to what I need. And I had the materials if you had to purchase the materials, yeah, it'd probably cost about 20 bucks to make. And then your time, would it be worth it? Probably not. But uh, if you need a very unique size and style and you want to customize it, that's where the worth comes in. And that's what I wanted to do. And it's worked out really well. I need to make another one for the house. But uh, I need to get another file cabinet too for the house, so. As of right now at the house, all my power tools are in a uh, upright locker and they're just all stuffed in there and kind of a mess, but it does work. All right, next we got, let's see, we got wrenches. And as you can see, a list of cabinets, I don't know if all of them do, but they have these holes in them. I love it. The dirt falls through all the way to the bottom. There's nothing small enough in these that I'm worried about it falling through the holes. And I bought all these little bolts from Home Depot. Yes, it takes up kind of a lot of space for wrenches. You see these are still in the rack just because it was a pretty nice rack. But uh, none of these came in a rack. They were all bought used and rather than purchasing racks, I put all these bolts in the holes. And uh, they don't really slide around at all. They work out really well like that. 
uh, you could probably save a little space if you had a rack in there tipped up on a little bit of an angle. But uh, it's worked out really well for what I'm doing here. And uh, I do wish I had one big drawer at the top that was a lot thinner that I could just put them all flat, laying down, do it that way, but it didn't work out that way. Uh, next, sockets. These are my 3.8 sockets. Uh, half inch ones are the same way. Uh, they're all on bolts as well. If I didn't have the holes in the drawer, it would probably make more sense to buy a rack with all the 3.8 squares or they make some really nice aluminum ones. Uh, I forget the company name, but there's some really nice aluminum ones out there. But they're kind of expensive too. Uh, one of the things I did at the house were actually a plier rack, but it worked really well for sockets as well, is I took a whole bunch of 8D nails and welded them onto a strip of metal in two rows so I can lay the pliers all in. And uh, that's something I would probably do with sockets if I didn't have the holes already in here. Just take a flat piece of metal and tack weld a whole bunch of nails on. It doesn't take much time. You can just drop all your sockets on there. It works really well. You could even take a marker and mark sizes on it. Uh, I did the same thing with the half inch drive ones. You can see they're all on bolts. They're just threaded through the holes. Excellent, excellent uh, usability and everything like that. I just drop all my ratchets and stuff down in the middle. Uh, phenomenal way to store your sockets. I know Snap-on has a drawer. I believe they have one with organizer slots. I don't know if it has holes in the bottom or not, but uh, there'd be an idea for sockets. I know everyone likes to put sockets in their top drawer, but, uh, or you could just tack weld nails on, or you could just purchase ones that are already made if you don't have the time to do it. Time is money, so I get either way, but this is what's worked out really well for me in my very unique box setup. Same thing here with standard wrenches. Uh, nothing too crazy in a lot of my other drawers. Just stuff's kind of thrown in here. Uh, this is one idea I had and it worked out okay, but I'm not that happy with it. It's just a piece of PVC that I took a chop saw and notched a whole bunch of notches in it. If I did it again, I would do them on an angle so you can read the numbers. Just a slight, maybe like a 30 degree. And uh, those are just in this junk case here. It's gonna fall apart one day and then I'll do something a little different. But uh, I think this would work out really good with, if you could get like a square PVC fence post and do like a 30 degree angle. And that's really easy and cheap to do. This is my plier drawer. I had to add these in to keep it from sliding and it just slides right in there because originally every time, I mean, the drawer did get slammed. That's the bottom line of anything like that and it starts sliding. But uh, I do have a separate video. I think it's called Handmade Plier Track where I actually recorded when I built these. But I think this is one of my best ideas yet as far as storing a lot of pliers in one space. And not everyone has this many pairs of pliers, but uh, never hurts to have an, a different style, different extra pair in case you lose one or whatnot. And uh, this is quarter inch brake line, sheet metal, I think it's 20 gauge or 16 gauge sheet metal. Spooled it, tacked it on there. Go back and watch the video on that if you're interested in making one of those super cheap uh really easy to do you don't have to be too fabricated inclined to put that together and uh very unique and it's worked out excellent i know there's a lot of different styles of plier racks but a lot of them take up a lot of space and i really just don't like them and uh here again i have a certain size drawer on this list of cabinet i had to customize it rather than fight with something that's already pre-made customize it make it work and uh i'm really happy with that as far as everything else i got uh file cabinets are excellent storage you can see how i have all my cases in here and uh, the dividers are still in here you can kind of separate them if you want to 
Uh, not everyone wants to do that. They want to have a pre-made toolbox and I make it work, but these file cabinets are really durable. And these cases, as you can see, all fit on in here really nice. Uh, the rest of my stuff is kind of more or less thrown in here. And, uh, but those are my top four whatever organizing ideas. And uh, it's really come out really nice. Another thing for chargers, I know a lot of you have a power drawer that you put your chargers in, but uh, for putting them in your hutch rather than setting them down, take a piece of sheet metal and uh, most chargers have slots for screws. If they don't, you can make slots for screws in them or use a band, piece of band steel and two screws like I did on this one. And a uh, really great idea for storing your chargers and that that's gonna be some of my top organizing tips and uh i know i'm a little bit unique as what i prefer but uh it's worked out really well for me and you could merge that with any type of box and all that so i appreciate you watching and uh stay tuned videos come out every friday and uh, if you like this type of content you know what I always say, hit that subscribe, hit that follow if you're on Facebook or YouTube, and we'll keep more videos coming. Till next time.